Hey YouTube, this is Dr. Sean McWilliams from Disc Centers of America and Alfred at DiscCenter.com. And what I want to talk to you about today is how to stretch your low back. It's one of the most common questions that I get in my office. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you my favorite stretches. And it's really a combination of stretching the quadriceps and the hamstrings. I'm going to show you the best way to do that. And if you have any questions or comments, um, please let us know down below. Um, but I think these are really going to make a big difference for your low back. So once you have your strap, you're going to want to make sure that you have a loop in it. And what we're going to do with that loop is we're going to put it on the bottom of our foot. And so it's going to look like this. You're going to lay back with the strap on your foot. And the first stretch we're going to do is we're just going to come straight up. The key is that we don't want to bend the knee. If we bend the knee, it's called active insufficiency. And we don't want to do that because we're kind of cheating ourselves on the stretch. So the key is, is you want to keep the knee straight. And if you have to, start all the way down here and start to just very gently pull the leg up. You want to start to feel it in the back part of the hamstring here, in the back of the leg. And what you're going for is a kind of a good hurt, but without pain. And you want to hold this for 30 seconds. So, and you want to count like this, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, a nice slow count like that. After you get to 30, we want to let our leg drop down. And the next thing we want to do is we're going to bring our leg across our body. And so this stretch, we're going to be stretching what's called the iliotibial band going into the glute muscles and also into the upper SI joint of the low back. This is a great stretch for your low back. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to count that slow 30 second count on this stretch. Next thing I want you to do is take some of the tension off, bring your leg across your body. And now we're going to go to the outside and then we want to pull the leg up like this. And again, so I'm pulling up and letting the leg fall to the outside. So now we're starting to stretch this adductor group on the inside of the leg. 30 second count on this one. And then the last stretch we wanna do is we wanna stretch the quadriceps. And the quadriceps is this big muscle group right up in the front here made up of four muscles. And this is the ones that everybody forgets to stretch and yet I think it's one of the most important ones when it comes to chronic low back pain. So to do this right, you wanna turn yourself onto your side. You're gonna bring this strap up behind you like this. You bend both your knees, relax your head down onto your arm, and we want to pull the knee back. So I'm pulling up toward my head, and I want to pull that knee back. And I want you to feel this all the way through here in the front, but I also want you to feel it up into your deep abdomen. So you got to really let your belly relax on this one. And breathe deeply. And you got to hold this for one minute. That's the key. If you don't hold this quadricep, stretch for one minute, you're never going to get a long-term elasticity to it. So once you're done with that, what I want you to do is I want you to come up, take that off of your foot, put it on your other foot, and you go through the same exact routine again. So I'll go through it real quickly with you. Straight up for 30 seconds. Let the leg come down across your body for 30 seconds. To the outside for 30 seconds. And then you want to do that quadricep. Turn onto your side and pull that leg and that knee back. You feel it all the way through here and all the way in the front. This one's usually going to get you, but this one's going to make a huge difference for you. So those are my favorite ways to stretch the low back. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, um, please don't hesitate to write us a comment. My recommendations to you is that you stretch these before you go to bed. So if you're going to do it one time during the day, I want you to do it before you go to bed because as we go throughout our day, our muscles contract, it compress our joints. And what we want to do is we want to elongate those. We want to decompress those joints by making these muscles elastic again. And that way they're elastic before you go to sleep. So when you wake up in the morning, you're going to feel a lot less stiff and you're going to be a lot more comfortable. And I think if you're willing to commit to this, to doing it before you go to bed, when you get up in the morning, this routine is going to take you about 10 minutes to do. I think you're going to notice a, a pretty significant improvement in how your body and your low back feels. So if there's anything else we can do for you, please don't hesitate. Write us a comment. Contact us at alpharetadiscenter.com. Give our office a call. Um, if you have a question about something that you'd like us to do a video on, write a comment below and maybe we'll do your uh, topic next. Until next time, here's to your health. Dr. Sean McWilliams.